The second one is a creepy pasta, ain't real. And I got a good furry cringe story for ya. I am a furry. I hate most other furries though and only interact with a few furries online who don't make me cringe. I live in Scotland and there aren't many furries in this country as far as I am aware. So when I found one online who was also from here and seemed pretty decent person I threw shits to the wind and met up with them. Oh the regret. So we'd never spoken to this person like over Skype or any sort of voice call as they told me they had anxiety but did send me pictures to prove they were for real, not if themselves however. So it would never seen their face or heard their voice which was my first mistake. My second mistake was meeting up with them only a day or two after we started talking so I hadn't really seen the full extent of their cancerousness. My third mistake was assuming their gender. From what I could see their fursona UI hate that word was female. They wore feminine clothes, had a girly haircut, was draw kinda curvy, so I was like yeah that's a girl. The day came for us to meet up and I told them to find me at a very specific point since I didn't know what I was looking for. So after all I'd seen from them online you can imagine my discomfort when this short, spotty, greasy, balding ginger wee dude comes strolling up to me. I try my best not to judge people by looks at first glance because I am not exactly a 10 myself so who am I to criticize, but this guy was a lost cause. He clearly didn't care about hygiene whatsoever because his hair looked like it had never seen water. His breath smelt of death and regret and the stench of old sweat and dirt that hung around him stung my eyes. He spoke and acted like a child, no not a child, like a furry role player. He would say so and hu wo and all that shit, but not even in an ironic way. He also kept calling me by my character's name despite fine well knowing my real name. Not only that, he must have gotten the wrong idea and thought that we were on a date and he asked to hold my hand and kiss my cheek. Something acceptable for a kid on a first date, right? But may I mention this guy was 24. I couldn't even shake him. Every time I made an excuse to try and leave he's counter it with a solution and even when I said I wanted to go home he offered to escort me. What a total neck beard. Also a quick explanation of the guy's character. It wasn't female. It was a fucking femboy. The worst of all the furries out there. This is where you'd think the story ends right? No. The day after I all this shit happens I wake up to a few messages from the guy. Now completely in full furry lingo. Creepy roleplay and all. To summarize what he said in these block messages, he was in love with me and knew he wanted to marry me in the future, asked me to be his boyfriend and wanted NSFW art made of our characters. I never responded to the messages how could I, I just ended up blocking him and hoping to god we never ran into each other again. TLDR I met one of the few furries from my country online, thought they were female and normal, met up with them. Turned out to be some cringe, balding 24 year old guy who proceeded to be the biggest neckbud in the game. Next day he confessed his love to me, asked me to be his boyfriend and told me he wanted porn of our characters. Fuck me cacti, like, that's bad mate. Like you know, I, I don't get it, especially within fandoms ways, the, they just, people just forget how to act like decent human beings. Like they just, oh, like okay, like it's nice to see that there is a small percentage of furries that aren't complete fucking degenerates. Well, here, I just imagined, like, you know, the guy, that neckbeard fellow, to look exactly like this. Now, I'm sure you've seen this picture knocking about before. Uh, fuck. Like, you know, it's, this is exactly what I had in my, in, in my mind, anyway. But no, Cagney Pudding, Pudding left this comment on my last video, uh, my last furry video, anyway. And I thought it was a really good comment. I thought it was a really good story, so I made it into a video. Like, you know, it's probably the best comment I've ever got, like, you know, one of the, one of my more favourite ones I've heard, like, you know, just the idea of it, it's like, oh god, please make it stop, like, you know, I love the idea of, like, a furry being tortured that bad by another furry, like, it, it, like, it's that bad, it even gets to them, you know, um, fuck, I, I think that's great, to be honest with you, like, you know, I think that's funny, as anything, but, uh, hey, um, the fellow that left this comment, Cacti Putty, um, he also makes videos, so, like, you know, maybe if you're interested, check him out, um, don't just go ahead and be nasty to him for the love of God, like, you know, he seems like a decent human being, so, like, you know, if you go across and just take the piss out, I, 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 like, you know, it would be, it's a bit of a dickhead move, so please just don't, but, like, you know, if you're interested, check him out, you know, you never know what you might, like, fuck it, you know what I mean? But no, um, he says he's from Scotland, I'm from Northern Ireland, and the same, there's fuck all, there's no furries knocking about here, you know, I saw one, I've seen one in real life, and Jesus fuck, I, 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 I it's an oddity, like, furries for me are just a complete and utter oddity, you know? But, uh, hey, look, 
if you have any other stories yourselves, definitely let us know down below. I might just, I would love to do like a big compilation video of them. Like, you know, I'd love to get all that together. I think it would be a lot of fun. You know, I, I would go really enjoy that anyway. And I'm sure you guys would enjoy hearing the fucking pure cringe and just and cancer of it all, you know. But hey, look, as always, um, like and subscribe, step to speed learning on all our videos. I've been rambling long enough. So look, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This... This is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This... This is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?